A flute? Oh, will you play a song, brother? It was my daughter's. But I will tell you of it later. The flute you found. You said it belonged to your daughter. I carved it for her as a gift. She enjoyed playing and was skilled with it. It was a song she would play. One I used to remember every note of. But no longer. Brother, if you mean to recount the story of the day you were tricked into killing your wife and daughter, you don't have to. You've told that story before. We know how it ends. You needn't relive it. Hmm. That's not the story her flute brings to mind, is it? No. Calliope's flute again. Still on your mind, brother? Yes. I will explain later. Mania. The day my family died was not the last time I saw Calliope. I had journeyed to the underworld to rescue Helios. When I arrived, I heard Calliope's song on the wind and found her in the fields of Elysium. It had been long since I felt such joy. But it was another trick of the guards. It wasn't her. Worse. It was. The goddess of the underworld wished to destroy all of creation, Elysium included. She knew that for me to stand against her meant leaving Calliope behind forever. So, I pushed my daughter away again, all while she cried and begged me not to. Calliope's food. Whenever you're ready, brother. Take your time. Brother, the choice you were given? To stay in Elysium with your daughter only to perish? Sounds like no choice at all. Of course it was a choice. One I wished many times I made differently. How so? When I left Greece, Calliope was never far from my mind. I do not know how much time we would have had together in Elysium, but I would have traded the decades that followed for mere hours with her. It took meeting Faye for that feeling to go away, along with Calliope's song. But I do still think of her in Elysium, and hope she found peace. <laughs>